study guys type 4 that's your last parameter the earlier we started with z parameters where we had to apply kv then we came to abcd parameters again we had to apply kv but after applying z parameter we had to do some modification to get abcd parameter then the third type which we have studied that was y parameters where we had applied kc so again on the basis of third type we have studied four type that was hybrid type yeah, hybrid again you have to apply KCL, but again after getting Y parameter, you have to do some modification to obtain hybrid parameters. The name itself says hybrid, that means the equation will be mixed, a combination of what? So let's study. There are four parameters V1, V2, I1, I2. V1, V2, I1, I2. Among all four, you have to take a combination of two. One will be input, one will be output. That's the reason it is named. The name itself says hybrid. So, you have to take input voltage and output current. That means V1 and I2. So, the equation will be in terms of V1 and I2. What is left? V2 and I1. So let's have a look. So, this is a circuit given to you. Before solving a circuit, my dear friends, I need to convert my inductor, my capacitor, everything to be uh, into a Laplace domain. L will be LS, C will be 1 upon CS. This we have done it before in transient and every chapter as well. So I hope you remember this guys. So converted. This was, was C. So it was 1 upon CS L LS C 1 upon CS L LS. Input output. So this will be your voltage V1 V2. No potential difference. So this will be also V2. There's a potential difference. So this will be voltage V3. So first I need to find the equation of I. Ohm's law. V is equal to IR. So apply KCL at this branch. So I1 is equal to V1 minus V3 upon this. So that will be the equation for I1. Similarly I2. I2 we have a junction my dear friends. Okay? So I need to apply KCL at this point. And for V3 I need to apply KCL at this point. I2 and I3. So type 4, the type 3 sum which we did, the sum is very similar. So I am assuming that you guys know it, y parameters because the same sum we have done for y parameters. After getting y parameter equation, I1 in terms of V1, V2, I2 is equal to V1, V2. I need to obtain my hybrid parameters. For hybrid parameters, I need to get the equation in terms of y parameters. So let's do it. This is the equation for hybrid parameters. Input, output. Input voltage, output current. What is left? I1 V2 I1 V2 plus and plus. You get minus minus only in the ABCD parameter. Rest in all parameters you will have plus plus sign. H H H H. 2 by 2 matrix 1 1 1 2 2 1 2. So I need to get equation V1 in terms of I1 and V2. I2 in terms of I1 and V2. So if I observe very carefully my dear friend from second equation and from first equation. From first equation and second equation, I need to get this equations. H parameters equation. So, look very carefully what can be done to get this kind of equations. If I observe from second equation, if I keep V1 over here and I shift this parameter over there, so I'll get V1 in terms of I2 and V2. Is that needed? No. V2 is needed and I1 V2, so you cannot do that. What about this equation? If I have V1 over here, if I shift this side, so V1 I will get in terms of I1 and V2. So V1 I need in terms of I1 and V2. So that's what, right? So with solving this equation, I can get the first equation for S parameters, right? So keep V1 over here, I will get in terms of V1. So if I shift this side, both the side, I will get V1 in terms of I1 and V2. So that's your first equation. If this is the first equation, so coefficient of I1 will be H11, coefficient of V2 will be H12. So I'll get the two values, H11, H12. So that was your first equation for H parameters, which we got from Y parameters. So let's work on the second equation for H parameters. My dear friend, for the second equation for H parameters, I need I2. I2 in terms of I1 and V2. I already have I2 equation, but that is in terms of V1 and V2. V2 is required, but what is not required? V1. So V1 is required either in terms of I1, 
either in terms of v2 or the combination of both of them. So the first equation which we already got of h parameter v1 in terms of i1 v2. So you need to put this first equation over here. Then second equation of y parameter. First equation of h parameter which you got, put this in the second equation of y parameters so that you can simplify it and get the second equation for h parameter. The coefficient of i1 will be h21, coefficient of v2 will be h22. Put all put in all the values. The main important part after putting the values is the unit form. What will be the unit for all these four parameters, my dear friends? For finding the units, my dear friends, I need to observe this equation. So this was the basic equation for h parameters. So to obtain the equation of h11, put h12 as 0. So it will be v upon i. Oops. H, uh, to obtain the uh, unit for h21, put h11 as 0. So it will be v upon v. No unit. Whole, whole cancel. To obtain the unit of h21, my dear friends, I need to put h22 as 0. So it will be current upon current. So it will be no unit. To obtain the unit of h22, my dear friend, I need to put h21 as 0, so it will be i upon v. So it will be inverse of h current, that is nothing but no unit. So after getting the unit, put down the unit, that would be your final answer. So keep that in mind, guys. When you need to solve i parameters, first get the equation of y parameters. After getting the equation of y parameters, my dear friends, modify the equation number 1 of y parameters to get equation 1 of h parameters. After getting the equation of h parameter, first equation, put that for equation of h parameters into the equation of y parameters to get equation of h parameter v. Again, let's divide. Simplify y parameter equation number 1 to get h parameter equation number 1. After getting h parameter equation number 1, put the h parameter equation into equation of 2 of y parameter to get h parameter equation number 2. So I hope you got the sum. Please practice a lot and please make it sure you don't make mistakes my dear friends in plus minus sign. Thank you so much signing off.